I'm Todd Little, Chairman of Camden University, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you in a few weeks at the beautiful Rancho Bernardo Hotel uh, in San Diego for the Kanban Global Summit. I'm going to be doing a session at the, at the event called the Little's Law Game. And in it, we're going to explore a bit of depth about the Little's Law. Not my own Little's Law, but the laws of John D.C. Little. It's been around for over 50 years in uh, queuing theory, explaining relationships between, in, which we use in the Kanban method as relationship between the averages of throughput, work in progress, and lead time. It's a powerful tool, and I think many people are aware of it, but not all people need or have really uh, understood the depths of which we can use it. So I'm going to show you a little bit more about what we can use and, and why some of the things work the way they work. Uh, for example, one of the things we get in our classes is always a question of how do I go about setting whip limits? Or can Little's Law help with that? Perhaps. Let's join my, join my session and see. The other thing we use Little's Law for, we can use Little's Law for, for forecasting. But this is confusing to some people who have come from a world of estimation because Little's Law says nothing about the size of items. There's no estimates. Is that important? Does that mean that all the items have to be the same size in order for Little's Law to work? Maybe, maybe not. Let's play a game. Let's do a simulation and find out. You can experience it for yourself and determine whether some of these estimates that people are doing are actually helping in any decision process that's being made, or are they just wasting time? So again, I look forward to seeing you at the Camden Global Summit in San Diego.